Hey, it's Rick. In this one, we're gonna be talking about how to automate the process of batch processing a large set of videos with FFmpeg using Node.js. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, now before we actually pull up the terminal and start writing source code and start looking at some of the things within Node and seeing the command line, flags with FFmpeg, all of that. Let's, let's just take a step back here before we actually look at any of the tools. So let me give you a little bit of background as far as why I wanted to do this. So I, I don't know if you've been to jaysacademy.com, but it is a pretty much a screencasting site that I run. Head over there to jaysacademy.com, check it out, see some of the videos there. So currently I'm using Wistia to host all the videos that are actually there. And Wistia takes care of all this process for me. They go ahead and transcode all the videos from 1080p down to 720p, 4080p, and 360p. So they do this entire process for me. I don't really have to do anything. They just do it for me. But recently, I've been wanting to uh, give a little bit of an update for Jace Academy. Now, Jace Academy is actually, the whole entire thing is built in Angular 1 uh, using the pretty much the mean stack. But when I originally designed this and actually put this together, it was actually through a pretty much a weekend hackathon to get something out the door, see if so many people was interested in actually becoming subscribers. Fast forward a year later, and the, the application is not looking so good, right? And the point where it's not looking so good is my SEO is horrible, right? Because the thing is, it's pretty much a single page application. Google has a really hard time reading the entire page. So what I'm gonna be doing here, I'm gonna be switching that over to uh, MeanStack 2.0, where I'm gonna be using my actual tool that I built to actually create this thing. But before I get to that, I needed to be able to actually uh, have a provider to be able to host some of this content for me. So I'm switching over to Amazon S3 and I'm gonna be pretty much putting all the content there and be able to use Amazon S3 as the backend to be able to actually serve a lot of these files. So that's how I'm gonna be doing it. In order to get to even to that place, I need to be able to figure out if people are actually interested in this thing. So this is why I needed to do transcode a large set of files with different versions to see if people were interested. So this is kind of the reason why I wanted to create this video. I have a bunch of videos I need to go ahead and transcode. And Amazon actually has a transcoding service. So Amazon actually has a transcoding service that can go ahead and do this for you. Now, if you have a 10 minute video, they'll charge you roughly around 15 cents for that video. So I have about 120 videos that I need to go ahead and use this transcoding service. So that comes about $18 for all the video. Remember, this is $18 for the 1080p to 720p. And what I wanna do is I wanna go from 1080p to down to 720, down to 480 and then down to 360. So those are completely different versions of the same file. And because it's different versions of the same file, I need to make sure that I'm actually transcoding these different files to those specific versions. If you use FFmpeg right from the command line, you can actually do this. So for example, I have a 1080p file, we pull up FFmpeg, pass in all different flags in order to get this uh, transcoded to that specific version. FFmpeg goes ahead and does its work. It takes a roughly you know, a couple minutes for it to process this video. But once that video is done, you gotta go to the next one, change the flags, the next one, change the flags, the next one, change the flags. That was really annoying. So this is why I went ahead and used Node.js to automate some of this process for me. Now this is a lot of videos, 120 of them that I need to batch process. So pretty much the script, what it does, it goes ahead and looks at a parent directory and sees, okay, what files are in here? Okay, you have 120 files here. Let's go ahead and push that to an array and we'll go ahead and process all those files for you. That's essentially what the script is doing here. Now, am I gonna use this script for the for the actual production application? Probably not. I'll probably use Amazon service to automate the entire thing for me. Now, the specific reason why I wanted to do it here is because I'm working on MVP to push this out the door as fast as possible to see if people are interested. So again, if you wanna just go ahead and hack something together real fast, again, FMPEG real quick from the command line, why not? You can go ahead and check out the script. Again, there's a blog post below this video. You can just click over to the blog post and it will take you over to the script. You can go ahead and look at the script and details and see how the script is actually written and see if you can actually use it. Let's head over to my Mac and I'll go ahead and show you how to run the script from the command line. Here I am on my desktop and what I have here is this folder called videos. So if you look inside this videos folder, you'll see I have a couple of videos in here. I have uh, video one, video two, video three, video four, and video five. And if you're planning to use the script that I'm including here in this blog post, you can actually just rename this to whatever pattern you have for your file names. For me, it's really simple. I'm just naming them one, two, three, four, five. But if you have something very specific, you might wanna go ahead and change the script for those specific names. So for example, if you have video underscore one, my script won't work. You have to go in there and change that value. So yeah, if you double click any of these, you'll see that these are just videos. Let me get another video here, another video here. And those are pretty much just the videos there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and transcode 
all five videos over to a different format of 720p, 480p, and then 360p. So let's go ahead and do that now. If I open up the blog post here, which is attached to this video, so there's a link below in the description. You can just head over there and then this will take you to this blog post here. And here's the script that I wrote. So I'm just gonna grab this and I'm just gonna copy this, pull it to terminal. As you can see here, I'm just in this directory of my desktop with the videos. And I'm just gonna call this one process.js. And I'm just gonna paste this in there. And as you can see here, here's the script that I'm talking about. It pretty much covers what I just said. So I'm not gonna repeat what this script is doing, but it's pretty much formatting our videos and it's putting them inside this folder call, called transcoded. So let's go make that directory there. And if you look in here, we have video one through five and we have this process uh, and then we have the other one called transcoded. If you come back to the blog post, you'll see here's the actual command line you need to run. So let's put this in here. We have videos one through five and then the locations for the videos is going to be this directory right here. Put this in there. So this is gonna go ahead and process all of those videos and then go ahead and I'll put them to the transcoded folder. So let's go ahead and run the script. As you can see here, the script went ahead and completed the process. Right here, it tells us completed video number five. So if we go over to my desktop, double click on videos, you'll see here we have this folder called transcoded. And if we look at within this folder, you'll see that there's all these videos in here. Here's video number one. We have the 360 version, we have the 480 version, and we have the 720 version. As you can see here, here's the size of them, 8.2, 8.3, and then 8.4. Same thing we're here with num video number two, video number two, video number three, video number three, so on and so forth. And if we double click uh, any of these videos, you can actually go ahead and watch it. As you can see here, this one is in, this is the 480p. So that's pretty much all there is to this little script. Again, it automates a lot of the same process of just transcoding these videos to different versions of the same video. And if you're familiar with the FFmpeg command line, you'll be able to add a lot of different flags and be able to actually get this pinned down almost exactly to the point where you actually want these videos transcoded to that exact same version. There you have it, that's all there is to running this script. Again, the script does take a little bit of uh, time to actually process all the videos. So if you have 100 videos, 200 videos, it is gonna take us a little bit of time. But again, you can just minimize the terminal, go do something else and this entire process will just happen in the background. All right, so that's pretty much all there is to this video. If you liked it, make sure to give me a thumbs up below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm constantly releasing a bunch of different videos on JavaScript and Node. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, go ahead and check out the channel. Got some pretty cool videos already up. So uh, we'll go ahead and talk to you in the next one.